Welcome to Rick Bull's Reviews. In today's episode, we'll be looking at Hasbro's 1995 Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon has earned her place in the galactic history as a symbol of the rebellion and a tireless defender of the free galaxy. Like I've mentioned in other reviews, the 90s ships used the same molds as the 70s and 80s versions, since they were exquisite and excellent molds. The updates on the new ships are in the quality of the paint, improved lights, noises, and stickers. The downside to using the same molds is this. The figures have changed drastically. Before they were quite rectangular and fit nicely into cockpits, but now they have been beefed up and buffed out and in various poses. This makes it very difficult to fit the figures into the cockpit, and in fact, Chewbacca doesn't even fit. I tried for a few minutes, and he's just too big, too chunky. The only way to get Chewbacca in there is to use the old 70s figure next to the newer 95 figure. Otherwise, sorry mate, you'd got to get on a diet or something. The interior is very much the same though the background card now shows the hallways leading off to the other sections of the ship. The secret compartment can still fit two figures, which is surprising due to the figure qualities I previously mentioned, and the cockpit is painted black over the previous blue color. There are four sounds which are from the films, and they light up the front lights. The color of the engine lights at the rear have now been corrected to blue. A figure can fit into the turbo laser seat. You can spin it around. In a book I saw they'd put the figure in this way, though I've always done it like this. So maybe I've been doing it wrong since I was a kid. This version of the Falcon does not come with the remote training droid, which isn't a huge loss. The detailing is superb for such a hunk of junk. There's lots of new stickers and there's still the nice detailing all over the plastic. The radar dish and turbo lasers still both spin a full 360 degrees. The rear landing struts slide up and down the same as the old and the front one folds up and it can also be used as a handle. This ship came packaged in a Power of the Force box. The Falcon is very unique. Other YT-1300s from the same production line just don't have her performance or ruggedness. Pilots who try to push their ships to match the Falcon often end up in a pile of twisted metal. In more than three decades of service to Han Solo, the Millennium Falcon has enjoyed a thrilling and varied career. Although the survival of the ship, like that of its master, is nothing less than a miracle, the Millennium Falcon is still one of the fastest crafts in the galaxy. This is thanks to the many upgrades that the ship has received, mostly under the supervision of the being that knew her the best, Chewbacca. Over the years, the Falcon has undergone an almost constant series of upgrades that have enhanced her performance, but have also made her unpredictable.